Anthony Ralph, the assistant coach here at Notre Dame College. And from what I hear, the architect of the mastery is, is what Coach Romano is telling me, Anthony. Uh, first off, Anthony, uh, two-time state champ for the Channel Firebirds? That's right. Channel, as I like to call them? <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, Mac champ for the Golden Flashes. Right. One of my teammates. Yeah, that's right. All right, Anthony. Uh, first off, you are the guy who does a lot of the recruiting. You're, you you kind of have your hand on the pulse. You're an internet guy. You're, you're checking out everything. What goes into it? How much man hours do you put into just recruiting and getting guys to come see Notre Dame College? Well, I mean, I tell you what, Zev, it's like, you know, the more hours I put into it, the, the better results, obviously. You know, last year we brought in about 35 guys. The year before was about 40. Um, so, I mean, it, you know, the more time I put into it, of course it all starts, you know, results, state tournament, Brexville is a big one that I like to go to. Uh, getting out and knowing the guys, knowing the coaches in the area, uh, that's a big thing. It, you know, obviously growing up in this area from Chanel, uh, you know, Graham Coggill, he knows a lot of people. You know, I, I've known a lot of these coaches for my, you know, my whole life, really. Uh, so now recruiting, it's, it's easier for me to do that and make the connections that it takes to get these guys here. You know, uh, being NAIA, we don't have a lot of the same rules, so we just take advantage of it. You know, uh, we get the guys up on visits. Uh, all that kind of stuff. I mean, last year, I, I can't remember the exact number, but we had almost 90 visits, uh, which is awesome. Right? You know, getting the word out, uh, being fourth year for the program, you know, we've, we never expected to be where we are right now uh, in such a short amount of time. And you're the ground level. You were here, you're year four. Yeah, from you're, day you're, one, yeah. From, the, from Coach Romano, you're probably one of the first guys he talked to yeah. to come on board here. Right. But do you find it hard? You know, I mean, you got a guy like Ashton Primus, two-time Pennsylvania State champ. How do you get a guy like that to come here? You know, it's all through connections. It's all through people, you know, that, that knows everybody, you know. And it's the good thing about wrestling is that we all have respect for each other, you know. So, uh, you know, if there's a guy out there that's not doing so well at a school or is having issues or is just plain homesick, you know, from Ohio, then, you know, guys on our team or the connections that we have, we just, you know, call them up and see what the deal is, you know. Um, so Ashton Primus, the way that that happened was actually through Willie Saxton, who was an Ohio boy. He went to Missouri, uh, you know, was struggling a little bit, came home, um, and, and he was good friends with Primus. So that's, what, uh, that's how we got in talked with Ashton. And he's a great kid. He's a great guy. He loves the small atmosphere. And that's, that's something that Notre Dame is, you know, known for is a small school, small classes. And that's what a lot of these guys need. You know, they need that one-on-one -on -one on tension. Kind of got to keep your thumb on them a little bit? A little bit, a little bit, you know, but that's that's just, you know, something that Coach Romano's real good at. Uh, you know, we have, you know, four coaches here, and, and Ryan Summers, our GA, is excellent, always here with the guys. Uh, you know, it's an open-door kind of policy. These guys come in all the time. We talk to them, any issues that they have. We try to get them solved early, you know, so it doesn't snowball into something big. Okay, Anthony, you guys aren't just getting the big transfers. You actually had a huge signing right out of high school in Orlando Skills. Yeah. Talk about, you know, what went into that, man. Orlando's an awesome kid. You know, obviously I saw you guys interview before, and he was laughing and joking around. He's a great guy. You know, and that made it all – that made the recruiting so much easier. You know, when you get a kid like that who's who just loves the sport, loves wrestling – um, you know, and Orlando's the type of kid that needs that small atmosphere. You know, he needs a one on one attention, uh, which he's definitely getting here. Um, you know, so, and I, th I think the classroom is like, you know, student teacher ratio is like one out of 15. So, uh, you know, you're not just a number, you know what I mean? You're not just some face in the crowd. Teachers know your name and that kind of stuff. So when Orlando came and he visited, uh, he had a good friend here and Alex Denman, uh, you know, from Florida teams and Fargo and all that kind of stuff. So that was our end. Um, and we took advantage of it. You know, I mean, I, I spent countless hours on, on Orlando. Uh, he's a great kid. He was great to work with. And, and now that he's here, he's doing well. Uh, he's, he's doing well in the classroom. And now on the wrestling mat, you know, that's something that we know Orlando has. And we don't have to worry about that, you know. So he's, he's a great kid, works hard every single day. And obviously, you know, number one recruit in the country last year at 215. And, and he's moving up to heavyweight, so he's not cutting the weight. Uh, a lot of guys can't move like that. You know, he's a special kind of kid. Okay, here's the big one. This might, one might stump you, man. That's what right. I've been waiting for. Ten years ago, you were a MAC champ, 1999 at 157. Had there been like a Notre Dame college around, would Anthony and Ralph maybe have finished his, co his college career out? Uh, I don't know. I, I, that's a tough question. You know, yeah, you might have stumped me there. Uh, you know, I, I got hurt. I, I hurt my you, shoulder. You were kind of like uh, what Kabbalah's situation is. Right, yeah, yeah. I hurt my shoulder there. Um, 
you know, and I, I don't know the I don't know the real story. I mean, my shoulder was hurt pretty good, so I don't know if I could have wrestled any more competitively. Uh, I roll around in here with these guys, you know, just having some fun and, and training with the guys. But competitively, uh, competitively, it's it's a different situation, you know. Uh, you know, I would have loved to finish my college career at Kent and with you guys. Uh, and I, you know, the guys were there were great. Love the guys there. We had a good team. Uh, you know, I I I think I would have lent, you know, I would have leaned towards staying. Staying yeah. at Kent and finishing out, uh, you know. Obviously, Coach Romano was my coach, and Jimmy and Tracy. So, it was it was a good thing there, and I, I liked being there, and that's where I want I would have wanted to stay and finished out if I could have. All right, Anthony. I, I'm sorry I had to ask you such a difficult question. No, man. no, it's. I cool, didn't even, I didn't even cool. give you any any uh, any pre war. Uh, Tim <laughs> Russell did you, man? I got you good. I got you. Uh, <laughs> no, it's good. Hardball. All right. <laughs> it's good. All right. Hey, thanks for the time. Uh, I guess I'll give you one more parting shot. You want to? Is there anything you want the you know the people in the country to know about Notre Dame College? I, I tell you what, man. It, 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 this school is great to work for. Uh, I love being here. Uh, you know the people that work here. That's that's the most important thing. It, you know, all you guys, all your recruits out there. You know. Make sure that you're comfortable in the environment that you come to. You know what I mean? Because you are going to spend four to five years here, uh, and and working here. You know, with these guys, the admissions, all that kind of stuff, the coaching staff. Uh, that's just something that you, you. It's a feel thing. You have to be comfortable for where you're going to go. And uh, you know, for all you recruits out there, you know, I'm sure we'll be contacting you, and uh, you know, come see what Notre Dame has to offer. All right, Anthony. Thanks for the time, brother. Thanks, buddy.